Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. I'm Holly. Back there is Tucker. Yep, that's me. And we are in a cute little blue Kia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are in the updated 2024 Kia Seltos in the top SX turbo trim. And in this video, we are going to give you our impressions for our family of three. Stay tuned. All right, Holly. Uh, this was our ride back from the airport mm -hmm. from getting to experience the 2024 Hyundai Kona, which is the sibling to this vehicle. But for 2024, the Kona's all new. This Kia Seltos is facelifted. So this is like the old Kona. Mm. So it's very interesting that we got this. Is it a sibling or is it a rivalry? It, it, well, it's sibling rivalry. Oh. Uh, so very interesting that we got this to come back from that event where we were driving the Kona because like I said this is built off that older platform this has a lot of that older tech size yada 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 here in this Seltos what have been your thoughts on it yeah I mean I think it's a, a fun affordable car yeah and we have I like the gun. style I love this that outside yeah style. all right so let's talk about the outside uh, updated a new face on this one, updated taillights, and this color is the color that they showed off when they unveiled it last year in Los Angeles at the LA Auto Show. Pluton Blue. What are your thoughts? I love Pluton Blue. <laughs> I figured yeah. you would. Uh, I have felt very cutesy driving around cutesy? in this uh, very brightly pastel -y blue. Easter egg blue, robin's egg no, blue. No, no, it is not. <laughs> it is neither Easter egg or robin's egg no. blue. No, it's got some green. It's, it's almost it's more some, green than more it is. It's more like ocean. Okay, sea foam. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a darker, darker sea foam, but not robin's egg blue. Okay. Well, and we well, all. it's robin's egg. And we also have the black roof package, which adds some additional cost. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Coming... But, uh, but adds some additional uh, style. Yes, it does. But I also like the way the front looks. Okay. Um, especially like, well, the lines are kind of like chiseled lines, mm -hmm. first of all. like they're... Especially the LED running light is mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. And then up here on top on the hood, to me, it kind of looks like, you know, how like cats nose, noses wrinkle up when they're like. Yeah. So that's this, kind of what it looks like. So this looks like an angry cat. <laughs> like, I'm talking about like a tiger. Oh, okay. Big cat. Okay. okay. A lion's. Well, you know, uh, Kia's front end design has long been described as the tiger nose, but. I don't think they were talking about the lines on the hood. They were actually talking about the very front. All of it. See? So I didn't know you, that. But you're onto it, something. It obviously <laughs> is that. It works. It, it communicates it well. It communicated it well because uh, I had no idea that was a thing. There you go. Uh, but, and I like it. Yeah. Uh, it looks like... So I, I, I am a fan of smaller cars. Mm -hmm. I used to have a Mini Cooper. About this color. About this color. <laughs> Um, but it makes it look like an aggressive little car. Yeah. It gives it some style. So bringing up your Mini, I mean, this is definitely a much more miniature uh, Kia than we have tested to mm -hmm. date. More in line with that, but obviously bigger than your Mini. Uh, same, same essential color as your Mini. You've long held that I've robbed you of your time with your Mini. Do you feel a little more at home in this? I do, especially with the color and the different color roof, roof which I am a fan of um, having those little variances. Mm -hmm. I think it just adds it, makes it more interesting to okay. me. So in that aspect, yes. I just love that they're On bringing color. On the inside, color. it's more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just love that they're bringing color back. Like Yes, 100%. This color is fun. I've tested a got mixed reactions yellow green version uh i believe k 
Ikea calls it a green, but you can go to our Instagram page and see past pictures of that one. Mm -hmm. But definitely some bold colors here in the Kia Seltos. Any other exterior design thoughts before we come inside? Those were my big ones. Okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts in here? I like it. Um, although I wish there was a little bit more contrast of colors in here. It's mm. just really black on black on black. Yeah. Um, yeah. But there are some fun, interesting design elements on the inside that I like. And the biggest one is the Bose speakers. Yeah. Um, they're kind of chiseled out. They're wavy, chunky, chunky, and then geometric. That, yeah, and then that kind of design comes up here on the mm -hmm. on the dashboard as well. And even in and, the tweeters. Yeah. Yep. The she tweeters. Know, tweeters. Oh, tweeters. Yep. I thought you're calling them tweeners, like between. <laughs> no, tweeters, <laughs> like you know what you used to do on Twitter yeah. before it became X. Now it's Xers. Yeah. Oh, well, sure. Why not? <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then at night at night rave mode mm, 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 <laughs> so we've got some mm, ambient lighting that comes out from under here and somehow shines down on these both speakers it's underneath the, on the you know, sides yeah it's like yeah. right here yep yeah, i can feel it right here yeah um that will pulsate and flash and change color to your music and i have not yet found correct me if i'm wrong people down in the comments can't see where you can change that turn it off you can change its brightness with the brightness of your gauge cluster gauge cluster i'm sure there's a way to turn it on yeah it is a feature that i'm like oh how fun but then after like a two-hour trip i'm like is it fun yeah is it still fun can we turn it off but then it comes back around to where it's fun again <laughs> Yeah, uh, you've been I watching. I do like that it dances. Yes, yes. So that's fun. It would be fun to go through the Christmas light part with. Yeah, with yeah. It. Too bad we won't have this one at that point. Too bad. Yep. Unless we buy one. Oh, oh. You've got two 10 and a quarter inch digital screens here one for infotainment, one for your gauge cluster. And the gauge cluster we have on dynamic mode, which right now looks like we're kind of driving from west texas maybe to dallas because like if you look very far in the distance you could see a city that you never get to so yeah we're in west texas out there with that one but uh it'll change as it gets dark you can see stars whizzing by you yeah it's kind of fun right yes it's kind of fun <laughs> <laughs> kind of like this kind of like the lights yes kind of fun. okay that was fun party <laughs> trick over uh, oh. all right uh, what are your thoughts on interior storage in here? Um, it's all right. Yeah. Uh, the the whole opening of the console is a little small, but it's deep. Yes. Our so, little go bag fits in here quite well. Mm -hmm. but, um, the I think the trays on the door are nice and big. I like yeah. that. Um, and then you just kind of have the cup holders down here. But there's like nothing to keep. Yeah. bottles from jostling around in here or you've got this small can that doesn't fit it's going to be rattling around yeah. if i were driving um but then you've got some other storage spots you've got a tray down here beneath two usb ports and then a chi wireless charger up above that so yeah kind of dual level uh action going on right there glove box not damped not lined with yeah. felt um, but yeah, a little handle right here, or if you start driving crazy, I can... That's like me. <laughs> that sounds like something yeah, I've yep. been to. Um, this is an all-wheel drive model, so we can lock it in all-wheel drive. There's a hill descent control. I'll go into more of that on my own. We have heated seats, no ventilation, single zone air conditioning, kind of basic amenities up here. Mm -hmm. Again, we just got back from driving the new Kona dual zone climate ventilated seats like they kind of spoiled us with that kona go check out that kona review we enjoyed that <laughs> but that does not detract from this one it is nearly six inches shorter than that kona okay. which i think is more felt in the back seat than up here in the front because i'm mm -hmm. quite comfortable but i would say that the truck i don't know if we're moving back to the the uh 
booty yet, but... The boot. The boot? The, not the booty, the boot. <laughs> oh, the boot. Uh, <laughs> um, but I feel like there, there's a, a lot of storage in there. Yeah. Um, it, and it's kind of like, it dips down. It's not even with the back end. Well, so it's got it that tray it, that you can move. So... Uh, is when we in this one? when we first picked it up uh, and had all our luggage in it from coming back from the Kona Drive, it was all the way up, and I dropped it down to give us some more space back. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, so that makes it like you have a lot more space this way. Mm -hmm. um, it's not super deep on the inside, but again, it felt like yeah. two pieces of our our carry luggage, on luggage carry on luggage and his backpack and a few other things we've hauled around some yard signs in here and camping chairs um so it's, it's enough space plenty enough space for our daily use as a family carry and then it's really easy to get to the top tether on the back of those seats when putting in tucker's child safety seat see what i did there segue to child safety seat installation all right, putting Tucker's child safety seat in the vehicle in its rearward facing configuration. This is the car seat we used way back when Tucker was rearward facing. It is a Graco extend fit car seat and we've got it reclined for rear facing. We've got this front seat moved all the way forward practically. And I'm gonna show you just how much space this little Kia Seltos leaves you with a rear facing car seat when it comes to that front passenger seat. You can see it is moved almost all the way forward. I'm gonna go ahead and climb in here at 510 and show you exactly what space looks like at 510 when you have a rearward facing car seat back in the back. So this is definitely not ideal. It is very tight in here. And uh, that rear facing car seat does take up a lot of room. So that is one thing to consider if you are shopping the Seltos and have a small growing family. This is a little tight, but the good news is they don't stay rearward facing for long. So let's turn that seat around and see what the room looks like and how easy it is to install it forward facing. Okay, now that we've got that done, I'm gonna turn this around, put it back in its most upright position for forward facing. And I will call out that the lower latch points are uh, relatively easy to get to back here. But before I do any of that, I am going to drop that top tether back behind the seat. There is a small gap between the seat back and the uh, hard parcel shelf back there because the seat does recline. So they're leaving room for that. But in its most upright position is where you're going to want to leave it. And then simply find the spot there for each of those lower latch points which they're a little obscured by the seating material but not so much so that just a quick little shove of that lower latch can't get it into place but makes for a very easy installation especially here in this smaller vehicle again with this seat all the way up where i had it in rearward facing mode i have plenty of room to get in and around it but as you saw, this isn't someplace I'd want to sit permanently. Now, let's go see about that top tether and that rear cargo storage. Coming around to the back of the Seltos, we do have a manually opening rear hatch. No power hatch on the Kia Seltos, at least as of yet. And then coming back to the back, we do have top tethers all the way across. But the outboard ones are raised up just a little to the point where this hard parcel shelf kind of gets in the way and you have to remove these latches in order to really get in here and tighten this down. It is going to be a two-handed affair to really get it tight for Tucker to ride it back here safely, but you can see back here this is a pretty hard uh, corner back here, so you aren't going to be squishing the seat material and causing any long-term damage to that seat material. So that's a nice touch. And I already showed you the hard parcel shelf that is back here. Uh, I typically am not a big fan of these uh, just because they do kind of get in the way, as you saw. I like the roller shades myself just a little bit more, but the storage overall back here is really nice. You do have that 60-40 split bench rear seat 
with recline. So uh, I showed you that recline earlier. And you have to actually recline them or fold them from the uh, latch point right up there. So I can't get to it too easily back here. I'd have to go to the side of the vehicle to fold it down. And then you get a two-stage floor back here. So this is a flat load floor right here, but you do have a handle. You have some a temporary, uh, you have a temporary spare. I'll get the words out underneath here with some storage around it. And then you can actually pull this out and drop it down to give you a more vertical height when it comes to rear storage capacity back here. So definitely have lots of options back here in the back of the 2024 Kia Seltos. All right, so we've talked interior, exterior, storage. Any other thoughts before we get to your driving impressions? Um, the seats are nice. They're yeah. comfy. Yeah. They're, what is it? Would it be? It's fake leather. I don't know what yeah, Kia calls like, it. Soft tech, H tech. I think it's soft tech is what they call it. I, they all blur together. I know Hyundai is H tech, but. It is comfortable and you do have on both, I think, uh, power. No. Oh, no, not over there. I haven't moved it, I don't guess. But on the driver's side, you do have power yep. seating, which I like that. Yep, yep. I, I do wish they were ventilated, being as they are black. That is true, yeah. And yeah. it is nice East they Texas. But yeah. Are they, they're heated there? Right? Yes, yeah. they're heated. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Um, power, 195 horsepower. So, this is actually more powerful and smaller than the Kona we drove. How does it feel driving to you? I like driving it. This yeah. is, I mean, I've mostly only been going straight. Yeah. But it does feel like there's been um, enough power and yep. getting us down the road. I mean, you're not taking this one out to the racetrack. No. Nope. Nope. But um, maybe it, off road. Yeah. It's. <laughs> it's been nice and smooth drive. Yeah. I, I've never felt like, oh my gosh, we're in danger because I can't get out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, it does have an eight speed automatic transmission, uh, which you can shift into manual mode, uh, pick the gears yourself if you felt like you must. But uh, for the most part, it, it's it's been fine. No complaints. Uh, yeah. Um, and I, the, I the eight speed's been good. No complaints there either. Glad it's not a CVT. That's mm -hmm. my two cents there. Um, steering wheel. Thoughts on the steering wheel? It's fine. Just fine. Yeah. Just fine. It's a little firmer yeah. than I would want, probably, but it does have a nice flat. You know, I like the flat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then on this side, you do have some grippers and some perforation. Perforation. Too. But I find it interesting that the perforated area is not any softer than the um, other, the rest yeah. of the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. And then typical Kia buttons on there. Uh, I, I find it funny their track forward and track back buttons are reverse. So I always hit up to go next and that repeats the song. Hmm. That's just minor complaint of mine, but yeah, it is what it is. Any other thoughts before I uh, pull out the window sticker? What is the um, gas mileage? Okay, so I will pull out the window sticker for that because well, come on. It is rated at 25 city, 27 highway, 26 combined. And what are we seeing in over 500 miles? 29. So we are getting better yeah. than window sticker in like 29 isn't on here anyway. Yeah, interesting. So uh, yeah, very good returns there. Thoughts on price? Yeah, go ahead. No. Show you right there. He said no. What are you saying? What? What do you think it costs? Thirty-one. Yep. Really? <laughs> no, it's zero dollars. See right here. No, zero dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. We are keeping this one. <laughs> uh, Thirty-one and some change. Unfortunately, because this is real good a twenty-four it. model, uh, we got it before they had all the pricing details uh, all lined out or at least that window sticker was printed before all the pricing details were lined out. But yeah, just over 31,000. So very good. Excellent. Well, I definitely think that this car is a great value um, for that price. So I have to ask you because yeah. they're both so fresh in our minds. 
This or the Kona. Why are you gonna ask me this? This or the Kona. <sighs> Uh, I, I hate that song. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> That's going in the bloopers. <laughs> well, it was an off-roading experience. That's Holly's off-roading for you. <laughs> that, Booty left seat in that one. That did not look that big. <laughs> what was that? That's probably a walk. Probably a giant walk. That was a giant something. Yeah. Oh boy. I think it was a giant walk. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Sorry. All right, so the question remains. They're both still fresh in our minds. This or Kona? Kona's a Why newer all the have to choose? I mean, if we're buying a new small car, we're not buying them both. So... Why? The people want to know. So... Keep in mind, pretty strong sibling rivalry between Hyundai and Kia. <laughs> yeah. Well, that didn't make it any better. <laughs> I know. Because you know I like Kia, and I, I really do. think the brand has, the, of any brands that have blown me away, Kia has blown me away the most with the cars that we have driven. Because they're yeah. fun, smooth, reliable, fun colors. Well, with that being said, I feel like you're about to pivot. <laughs> pivot. Pivot! But I think I like the Kona just a little yeah. bit better. And it only comes down to, um, I like the styling a little bit more in the Kona. It has um, some different variations in the colors that yeah. I really like that I think makes it feel like more of a luxury vehicle. Um, I didn't love the storage options though yeah. in the Kona. So the that's big something open. The big open. Yeah. I don't know about that. But and then you you can also add on the features in the Kona of having a ventilated seat in some of them. Would you like a bit of good news? A bit of good news. Give me a bit of good news. So this is a corporate sibling to that Kona. It will eventually be upgraded on that platform. Mm. Um just It'll be a little bit since they just updated it for 2024. And we know that the Kona was uh, started development in March of 2020. That left Kia designers just even more behind. I feel like Hyundai always releases their version a year before. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen this with the Santa Fe and the Sorento. We got an all new Santa Fe for 2024, facelifted Sorento for 2024. All new Kona for 2024, facelifted Seltos for 2024. So, Kia will be getting a version of that. Mm -hmm. And they'll probably do something different with the interior storage that we had slight issue with on the Kona. But on that news, uh, if you wanna see more from Holly, some behind the scenes stuff from her, what she's writing, testing, go find her on Facebook and Instagram at Female Consumer. You can find all things GT Garage Talk at GT Garage Talk. Facebook, Instagram, X, cut myself, uh, TikTok, YouTube, threads, all the things, or go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for us and Kia's cute little two-row SUV, until next time, gearheads. Bye. Bye. Tucker, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, you are? Okay. I was... I'm not ready. Okay, I'm ready. There it is. <laughs>